what's up YouTube so today we're gonna change the oil on the Hellcat um, I'm gonna go through all the different steps you need to make um, to do the job successfully and I'll go over the different tools you need to complete the job and um, yeah I'll just do a step-by-step -step video on how to change the oil on a, on a not only a Charger Hellcat but Challenger as well um, so yeah let's get it before you start the job you're gonna want to warm the car up let it uh, start it up let it warm up for eh, five ten minutes just get it uh, warm so that the oil gets flown in through there um, so when you're draining the oil it's easier for it to drain and make sure you get all the old oil out of there but uh, yeah that's the first step is to start the car warm it up for about five ten minutes and then um, bring it on in and if you have ramps of some sort uh, you're going to want to bring it up on ramps instead of doing it on jacks and jack stands it's a lot easier and safer um, we invested in these race ramps. Race ramps are lightweight composite ramps that um, work really good for lower cars. Um, they don't scrape the front end. You don't scrape your front end when you, um, you know, drive up onto them. So we invested in those. That's a great investment if you're uh, if you're looking to do an oil change uh, on your own or any type of work rather. Uh, if you don't want to use jack stands, those race ramps are uh, well worth the money. So the tools uh, you're going to need to do an oil change on a Hellcat is um, a 7 millimeter socket. I have it on a small ratchet wrench there. A 10 millimeter socket and a 3 quarter inch uh, ratchet to go on the back of this oil filter wrench. Um, this is a 93 millimeter oil filter wrench. Basically, um, as you know, the oil filter sits like this um, under the car. So it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. but in theory, this goes on the uh, you know ribs of the oil filter, and you you smack it down, uh, get it nice and snug, and then you take your three quarter inch ratchet, put it on there like that, and then spin the oil filter off. So along with those tools, um, you're going to need to get Pennzoil Platinum Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic Zero uh, W40 oil for your Hellcat. Um, I recommend not running anything but this in a Hellcat. Um, as you may know, you may read on forums, um, different pages on online that this oil is the best oil for the Hellcat. Um, so we're going to be using the Pennzoil 0W40 Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic and it says actually it says SRT right on the, the uh, oil itself. Um, you're going to need seven quarts, so um, I ordered a case of six quarts and then got one uh, quart just to top it off. It's like six and a half um, when you drain the oil cooler as well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below um, with a link on where to get the oil. Um, I actually found it was the cheapest on Amazon. Um, Amazon Prime, two days and uh, you get six quarts for I believe it was like 50 bucks. So I'll, uh, I'll leave that link in the description below. And um, also I recommend using gloves of some sort. Um, I just use rubber gloves that way I don't get oil and hot oil all over my hands and it just you know get your tools all oily and greasy it's just not the way I like to work I like to be clean so anyway um, that's what we're gonna be using today in the Hellcat um, those are the tools that you need to get the job done and let's get started on the oil change before I forget I wanted to mention um, I recommend using the OEM oil filter for this for this car um, I know aftermarket uh, oil filter brands make a filter for this car, but I recommend using the OEM filter. Uh, 
So this is where you're gonna use your seven millimeter socket and your 10 millimeter socket. Um, first step is to remove the bottom pan here um, underneath the oil pan, this little plastic cover just slides out. There's four 10 millimeter bolts underneath here. Uh, just undo those and then this literally just slides back and down. Uh, that's where you can access your drain plug for your oil. Uh, and then also to drain the oil cooler, which is under this plastic cover here, um, you have to remove these um, seven millimeter uh, screws from the bottom of the bumper uh, and then this plate here this plastic piece here um, slides back as well and comes out that's where your oil cooler is underneath here and um, that's where you'll have to drain that as well um, so that's that's where you use the seven millimeter socket and then these bolts here where you use the 10 millimeter socket all right so now we're gonna remove this bottom cover here uh, so we can access the oil pan uh, and the drain bolt to drain the oil. So you got your 10 millimeter socket here. Uh, there's four bolts, so let's get those undone here. And then as you'll see here, the, uh, the pan will just literally slide right back and down and then you can push this back here because you don't need that anymore. So, so now that we got that off, um, here's your oil pan and your oil drain bolt is right there and we will get that off next. Now that we're ready to drain the oil in the Hellcat, um, we want to make sure you have a oil drain pan uh, ready to go underneath the car. So um, that's the one I'm gonna be using. Also, I suggest using um, like towels, putting towels around it, that way you don't get it all over your garage floor uh, or your driveway. Uh, also, before you drain the oil um, from the drain plug, you want to undo your oil fill cap up here under the hood and uh, just set it here aside. And what that does is it relieves uh, pressure. Um, so when you're draining your oil, it uh, lets air in there and it you know, drains it all out faster for you. So yeah, make sure that is a must. Make sure you undo your oil fill cap before you drain your oil. When changing oil in the garage, um, I like to put what's called pig mat down. This stuff here is um, self-absorbing like towel. Um, basically what it does is it prevents uh, any oil or uh, contaminants to soak into your garage floor or driveway. Um, this stuff here is uh, very nice. Uh, it's called pig mat if you're interested. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below um, on where you can get this as well. So now that we got our pig mat down and our oil drain pan underneath the car, uh, we're now ready to undo the oil drain bolt, that 13 millimeter bolt, and uh, drain the oil. Now when you take this out, you want to make sure your hand's above the uh, bolt so most of the oil will just fall out instead of getting all over your hands. You also want to make sure that you put pressure on the bolt, that way it stops as much oil from coming out until the bolt's all the way out. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna pull this this way some. And here we go. And as you can see, you gotta make sure your oil pans push far enough back because it almost wasn't, it almost went over the floor. So make sure you push the oil pan further back from where the actual uh, oil drain bolt is.
once your oil is um, basically almost out of the pan, you're not going to get every last drop out. Um, but once it's to this point where it's very fine and uh, barely coming out, um, you can go ahead and uh, wipe off your oil drain plug. Make sure that that uh, gasket that's around there, that orange gasket, is not um, uh, ripped or you know not on there uh, flush. Um, so that looks good to me. Um, and then make sure that, like I said, it's wiped off and free of debris and oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in the oil pan before before we move on to our next step. Before you take your oil filter off, um, you want to make sure you wipe it down so that it's not greasy and oily. Um, so that when you put your oil filter wrench on, it won't slip off. So first things first, uh, go ahead and uh, use a shop rag or towel and uh, wipe the excess debris or oil off of the oil filter. After you've done that, uh, you're now ready to put your oil filter wrench on the oil filter. Go ahead and uh, slide it up on there like that. You can hit it, make sure that it's snug on there, just like that. And then you're going to want to take your three quarter inch ratchet and uh, put it up in there like this. So once you get it loose, you can go ahead and uh, start twisting it with your hand very carefully here. Um, and then just do it slowly and you'll start to see some oil start dripping down. Make sure your oil drain pan is underneath and then uh, you'll just go ahead and uh, drop the filter into the oil drain plant drain pan and uh, you'll be done with that step. So after you uh, get your old filter off and you're ready to put your new filter on, you want to make sure you pour a little bit of oil in the filter itself, like so. That's probably good. And then also you want to take your finger and get it, put some oil on it and uh, just put some oil around the o-ring of the oil filter. Now you're ready to put the oil filter back in the car and button everything up. I recommend just uh, snugging it really tight with your hands. Don't use a filter wrench because you could uh, crack it or over tighten it. Um, so just make sure that it's s snug with your hand. Actually, you know, really tight with all your force, um, you know, with just your hand. You don't need to put a filter wrench on that to tighten it. You gotta remove this front balance um, in order to get to the oil cooler to drain that. So you have to undo these seven millimeter bolts here. So you have to get out here. There's one, two, three, four, and there's this. Nope, so four of those, and then the rest are all of the seven millimeter uh, bolts that hold on this bottom balance here. So after you get the bottom balance off, you're now ready to uh, drain your oil cooler. It's a 15 millimeter bolt, or plug. It's located right here. So you wanna hold something on here as well when you loosen this bolt up. You wanna see how it's, it, it moves the whole oil cooler. You wanna use like a wrench or something to hold that while you undo the 15 millimeter bolt here. snug this bolt up while holding the oil cooler so it doesn't bend anything. Like so. Now we're all set. We can go ahead and put the bottom balance back on, put the uh, uh, oil pan cover back on, and then fill it up with oil.
So once your oil filter is snug and your uh, oil drain plugs tightened up, it's now time to fill it with oil. Go ahead and grab a funnel, something like this. Put it in there like that. Grab your 0W40 oil. And uh, it's gonna take, uh, it calls for six and a half quarts, so we're gonna check it after six quarts and see where it's at on the dipstick. start the car up for I don't know 30 seconds or so and uh, let all the oil circulate through the engine and the oil cooler and then we'll shut it back off check the oil and then go from there um, and see if we need to add any more we so far we have six in there we might need to add um, uh, half a quart to a quart uh, after we check it so let's see So after you're done filling it with oil, go ahead and check your dipstick. And you want to make sure the oil's right in between the the uh, check mark here, right in there. It's perfect. You don't want to overfill it, so that's right where you want it. So as some of you may notice, I have a Billet Technology oil catch can here. Um, this is to prevent blow by. Uh, and catch all your blow-by oil instead of it going back into the intake or supercharger in, in this case. Um, I recommend getting one of those for your car, especially if you have a supercharged or turbo charged car that, uh, that helps with collecting blow-by oil. So I'm going to undo this here and show you guys as much how much oil this actually uh, caught. I haven't done this in probably 2,000 miles. So as you can see here, there's a little bit in there but that just shows you how much this oil catch can caught instead of all that going into back into the intake um, or supercharger. So this here is uh, well worth its money. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can uh, get one of these Billet Technology oil catch cans. You can get them in different colors, um, but yeah, this just shows you how much it did catch. And like I said, I haven't changed this out and about 2,000 miles. So in 2,000 miles, this is how much blow-by oil has uh, came into the uh, catch can. Change on a 2017 Dodge Charger Hellcat. You would go through these same steps on uh, any Hellcat. Uh, the Challenger is a little different just underneath uh, as far as undoing the valance and whatnot, but as far as the engine oil goes, the oil cooler, uh, the oil filter, all that is the same on the Challenger as well, as many of you may know, but it's really not a bad oil change. Um, it, it didn't take me very long. After the oil change, you want to go ahead and start it back up, and you want to check your oil pressure, make sure that you have oil pressure. And we've got 64 pounds of oil pressure. We also have to 
uh, reset our oil change um, light here but yeah so oil pressure is good um, I'll take you through the steps to reset your oil life so see that it's zero there it says hold OK to reset to reset oil life engine must be off with ignition and run OK let's try this again We're holding OK. Let's see if that worked. Holding OK, boom, 100%. So that's how you reset your uh, oil life gauge. This now completes the oil change on a 2017 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Um, there'll be more content coming with the Hellcat, the Demon, the C7Z uh, weather is finally uh, getting a little bit better here in Michigan it's still cold but no more snow and salt on the road so we're gonna have more content coming um, so stay tuned as always thanks for watching have a great day